One thing we've talked a lot about is how Donald Trump can't seem to keep lawyers, that his lawyers are always quitting on him largely because he's a liar and he doesn't pay them. But now this is affecting his own kids because at least Eric, as of right now, just lost one of his top lawyers representing him in a fraud trial. Eric is on trial for fraud and he just lost that lawyer. And this shows that it's not just Donald that's being abandoned by legal representation at this very critical juncture. I want to read you a couple things. It says, the Trump family seems to have some difficulty with a attorney retention. That's right. They've lost another one. This time, it's not the former president's attorney who's off the case, but his son, Eric Trump's legal representation in the Trump organization tax fraud case. And then it notes further, a top Republican lawyer just cut and run on Eric Trump in the attorney general's case against the Trump organization. Yesterday, the CFO's lawyer announced that there are more indictments coming after prosecutors got 3 million pages of tax documents. Trump will go down. And I think this is crucial here because this shows there are a few reasons why this is happening and how this is almost certainly going to snowball and affect the other Trump kids and maybe Trump himself. Because right now, it's technically just Eric. But let's look at the details here. Lawyers often quit for a few key reasons, especially right before trial. They're not getting paid. The agreement isn't being followed. That's not actually that unbelievable because Trump has often not paid his lawyers, not paid them adequately. It wouldn't surprise me if he passed that lesson down to his kids. Eric wasn't paying his lawyer and his lawyers like, peace out. You know, I'm not going to represent you. Another factor is lying that if there were lies being told, if Eric wasn't being honest with his lawyers, like daddy often isn't honest with his lawyers will often break away at that point because it's one thing for a lawyer to lie for you. It's another thing to not be honest with your own legal legal representation because otherwise they can't do their job. So you need to be honest with them, but the Trump family are compulsive liars. And I think the third point is crucial, which is that these documents affecting both civil and potential criminal charges against Eric and Donald Trump and the Trump organization were just released yesterday. And it may be the case that this has sunk him so badly, no respectable lawyer wants to work with him and so that this was the final straw but the fact of the matter is none of this is unique to eric because the trump family intertwines family and business so much all of these things could just as easily apply to trump senior trump jr and Ivanka and other executives at the company maybe that if eric trump is losing a lawyer right now over fees and honesty and the difficulty of the case relating to tax fraud, well, you know, everyone's being accused of broadly the same thing. Overinflating values, underinflating values, getting executive perks and not claiming them. And now, if Eric is losing this representation, well, then there's nothing to stop Don Jr. and Ivanka and Trump himself from losing representation for the very same reason. And so this is a bad piece of news for the Trump family because I'm sure they'll find another lawyer. There's always another lawyer. I think Eric actually has found another lawyer. But obviously, if your lawyer's quitting on you as trials are ongoing, that's awful news. And this only increases the likelihood that the Trump organization is going to go down in crime charges, that the Trump family will go down in crime charges, or at the very least, they're going to owe millions in civil penalties. Because if lawyers aren't even willing to work with them, despite the fact that they're billionaires, they're in a huge heap of trouble.